Hello Aquarius, this is your reading for the 5th through the 7th, 7 of Pentacles there. A lot of you guys are planting seeds, working really hard. There, there's something that you guys want to grow, okay? You're nurturing something here. You're hopeful surrounding something, okay? <clears throat> Let's see what we've got for my Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Aquarius. What messages in love do we have for Aquarius? Messages in love for Aquarius. Ace of Swords. This is all about truth and clarity. Here. There's something I feel like you guys have realized. You have gained knowledge around something here, okay? And you're ready to act on the knowledge that you have acquired. We have strength. You're definitely ready to act on the knowledge that you've acquired. I, I see that you are gaining your momentum. Okay, towards something here, okay? There's that Seven of Pentacles showing up again. Pouring your blood, sweat, and tears into uh, a situation. Something you feel like is going to be very fruitful for you. I feel like for a long time you were talking yourself out of this, okay? You weren't quite sure how to do something. Then we have a nine of cups. Definitely you're investing in something that's going to make you very happy. This is something that you have wished for. Something you have wanted. Something you have longed for, I feel. And for a while, you didn't have clarity on how to, um, you know, gain it. Whatever this is, okay? Please show me more about the Ace of Swords. Please show me more about the Ace of Swords. The Three of Wands. Mm -hmm. The Three of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles is, is you know, it's, it's about like the same kind of energy. Okay? It's like actively waiting, basically. You know, doing some things, planting some seeds to do, you know, to make something happen here. Okay, is what this is. This is like Aries Taurus energy. Aries Taurus energy here. Okay, definitely gaining your momentum, your stamina, your confidence is growing. Please show me more about strength. The Two of Swords. You're stalling still though, okay? I feel you guys stalling. But you're trying to see, you're trying to see ahead. You're trying to, to know what's going to happen before you actually do whatever it is that you are mustering up the energy that you're hopeful around, that you're happy about. It's like you're wanting to dis you wanting to know, you like for sure how this is going to turn out. You're wanting to know for sure what's coming towards you, what's coming in. Okay. Please show me more about the Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Swords. This is bothering you. It's bothering you, um, and I think that um, you're you're almost working against yourself, in a sense, because you want to know, you know, the end result in this situation. And then I feel like you guys almost think the worst. And that's like self-deceit here with the Seven of Swords. It's like self-deceit. But I definitely get that you guys are being guided here. Okay, so don't overthink in this situation. 
go ahead and plant your seeds because you know something here with this Ace of Swords energy. But I feel that, you know, you, you want to know for sure that things are going to work out in the way that you envisioned it. You're definitely planning and strategizing and trying to do what's best for you. You know, putting the right seeds out there, putting the right ideas out there. Um, but, you know, still stalling a bit because, you know, basically you want to see into the future. You know, there's a need for you to step out on faith, I feel, in this situation, okay? Let's see. Show me more about the Nine of Cups. Show me more about the Nine of Cups. The seven of wands, your three sevens, you, you guys are being guided. Okay? So let me just say this before I move on to what energy is coming towards you guys. You have three sevens here. You are definitely on the right path. So if there's a question about the path that you're on, you guys are definitely on the right path. You're going towards success. You're going towards happiness. You're going towards your wishes being fulfilled, guys, okay? So let me just put that out there for you. Do not overthink this. Do not doubt yourself. What energy is coming towards Aquarius? What energy is coming towards Aquarius? What energy is coming towards Aquarius? Page of Pentacles. There you are, venturing out. Mm -hmm. you, you see you see what you could have you see what you can attain you see it in front of you you see it there is definitely a need for you to plan and strategize because there's something that you've learned that can be very lucrative for you I feel like financially more than anything okay I feel financially more than anything here for you guys let's see what else we've got here the hanging man the hanging man the page of pentacles with the hanging man is like you know whatever you have done as far as you know planting seeds putting your ideas out there um your concepts or whatever whatever it is whatever this means for you whatever you have done know that you are on the right path you're on the right track here so with the page of pentacles and the hanging man it's now time for you to just sit back and kind of of observe you know the result or you know what's to come from what you have already started here okay please show me more about the page of Pentacles the Queen of Swords is there I'm feeling like you guys know exactly what you need to do. You know how to attain success in this situation. There's something that I feel has hurt you guys here though. For some of you guys, this, you know, somebody has done something to you guys. Somebody has done something to you guys. Somebody has offended you. Somebody has made you feel um, less than. But I see you gaining your strength. I see you no longer waiting around for them. I see you standing in your own truth. Doing what makes you happy. And defending that. I see you moving forward with this Eight of Wands energy. I also see somebody trying to reach you. So 
somebody's trying to reach you, somebody is, is wanting to make contact with you, travel to you, somebody who, you know, was stuck for a while, wasn't doing anything, somebody that you probably have not talked to, okay? I definitely see somebody coming in for you. Somebody's coming in to communicate something to you guys. I see you with your back turned. I see you standing your ground, defending your happiness, defending, you know, who you are, what you want, what you desire, what you need in your life, okay? So we have Pisces, Sagittarius, uh, Taurus, Virgo Capricorn may be here, um, Aries, I feel, Libra may be here, Leo, for sure. Alright guys, so that's what I have for you, and I'll be speaking with you guys soon.